Um, you mentioned uh, the great popularity of Jane Austen at this particular moment in time. Um, have there been cycles of popularity of Jane Austen, or why is she so popular right Sorry, now? Sorry, can you put your hand up? I... Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, well, I mean, at the time, of course, all her novels were, were published um, anonymously. And so she wasn't, uh, by any means, a star um, in her own time. You know, she died very young. Um, and her popularity has gone in, you know, rather extraordinary waves. Um, so she, she wasn't aware of her, um, her stature as a novelist um, and died in relative obscurity. Um, and then it's not really till the 19th century, you know, well on into the 19th century um, that she's recognised as, as the great writer that she's recognised as. And then I think more recently, I think there are really interesting questions about why there have been so many television and film versions. Um, and in fact, I suppose one could argue that the very existence of, of all those versions, which are a testimony to her popularity, but probably completely undermine what I've been arguing this evening. Because what I think matters most about a novel like Persuasion, anyway, are aspects of fiction which are extraordinarily difficult to transfer into other media. I mean, particularly something like free and direct discourse. I mean, how, how can you suggest that what you're being told is coming from different points of view? I mean, it's, it's very difficult. I mean, I think there are very, I mean, there are clever things you can do in TV and film that you can't do in prose. And I think the best producers find those other techniques to introduce notions of ambiguity, for example. Um, but no, I think it's a very interesting question. I'm not sure I'm the right person to, to answer, certainly in relation to what we know of her, of her success in these other media, um, which, of course, always takes people back to the, the fiction. I mean, there's always an enormous rise in the sale of her novels if there's a good TV version. Um, so it, it, they both feed each other, I suppose. <laughs> 